Welcome to the Great Exodus series. My name is Michael and I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. This is God's plan of rescue. For you to go and use a path to Mount Zion, his dwelling place. To lay your feet at his, to lay your heart at his feet so that you can be ruptured into paradise and be with the Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ forever and ever. Let my people go. I'm shouting this to Satan and all the enemy forces. Let my people go. We are going out of the world and out of Babylon onto the new path. And we will reach the glorious Mount of Zion at the sixth seal. And we will be there seeing the throne of glory of the Father. And we will have access to the holy place. And we will be with him in our heavenly mansions. Did I say mansions? Do you remember any Bible verses that talks about mansions? What about John 14.2? When it says, In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. So I will go there and prepare a place for you. Now the question is, where is the Father's house? Many people think that it is the third heaven. But this is not possible due to many reasons. First, the, es the, the escape of the bride will take place. What is the first rapture? It's not really a rapture, it's an escape. And they will go to the third heaven. So the bride will go to the third heaven. But the third heaven is New Jerusalem. And we have a clear description of New Jerusalem and how it looks like in the book of Revelation. And there we do not find mansions and houses and plots and whatever. So there it should not be there that these are the mansions are in this place. So then where can be that? Where can be that place where these mansions are? So it comes to mind Mount Zion, of course. And to further <clears throat> help you with the understanding, I will explain you a vision I received from the Lord a few years back. In that vision, I was in my great mansion and I had a very beautiful plot that was so perfect. Green grass, lush bushes, nice trees, everything was perfect. And I thought, oh, what a wonderful place this is. And when I was going to the end of the plot, I could look down a mighty mountain slope. So that means my mansion was more to the top of the mountain. So I was looking down and on the slope of the mountain, I saw thousands, if not millions of mansions and all lit in beautiful light. And then I knew this is a mountain of the Lord and they are all our mansions. And then my vision ended. This vision clearly describes that the, that the mansions from John 14.2 are at Mount Zion. They are not in New Jerusalem, but they are on Mount Zion. They are two different places. Mount Zion will be the mountain carved, not by human hand, that will come down onto the earth to smash the feet of the statue of Nebuchadnezzar in Daniel. That mountain will be here on earth or close to earth or in another realm, whatever the case will be. But it will be here. It will not be the third heaven. So the mansions where people say, oh, the mansions are in the third heaven and, and what? And they are not. They will be on Mount Zion. There you will receive your beautiful mansion. That's also another reason why you should walk with me that path to Mount Zion. We are called forth now to leave the world, to leave Babylon and to walk towards Mount Zion. But on the way we have work to do. Don't be afraid of that word work. You are not working for salvation. You are already saved through faith by grace. But now your heart is yearning to bring in the great harvest, the harvest of the ages that will lead us to Mount Zion. You can read everything about this at my website, Triple Grace, or watch our videos at the YouTube channel, Triple Grace 555. You will see all the information there. 
and you will see that what we are saying is truth. We are going into the great exodus and what is moving forward there is the Jerol II army. And this knowledge about Mount Zion and the knowledge about the Exodus and the knowledge about the Father and Jesus Christ will enter through every window into every house and it will make a clear division there. As Jesus said, I have not come to bring peace, but to bring strife between in your families and that will happen with our messages we will give out. People will say, wow, it is not right, it's not correct, we only have to wait for the second coming. No. We have to walk and we have to be a harvest workers. The fields are white and ripe for the harvest, but the workers are few. So become a harvest workers and join me and bring in the people towards Mount Zion. We will gather them through our societies of the rose from all the nations. And when the time has come of the sixth seal, then the mighty angels will come and collect us from the four corners of the earth and bring us to the base of Mount Zion. And there, a great multitude, clothed in white, will be standing and will have access to the holy place. And the Father's throne will be on top of that mountain, the throne of glory, carried by the four cherubims. It will be on the top of that mountain, in a similar pattern as it was on Sinai Mount Horeb. Listen to me, people. Come out of this world, come out of Babylon, and walk with me the path to Mount Zion. You need information about what to do next go to my website everything is there or send me your questions to triple grace 55 at gmail.com be part of the societies of the rose or establish a society of the rose in your neighborhood and do a daily sacrifice of love in the name of the father not in your name but in the name of the father in the name of yahweh oh people i love you all so dearly and I can only open this door for you and can only explain to you what we should do, what the Father and the Holy Spirit has given me to tell you. You have to walk through that door and you have to go onto that narrow path. And then you will be guided by the Holy Spirit on your path. I can help you in many ways, but I cannot walk for you. You have to walk by yourself and you have to enter through that open door. Please step through that door onto the narrow path, the middle path. Do not walk on the right in poverty or on the left in prosperity. Walk the middle path. This is the way to glory. I thank you that you are here with me for this series and I hope that you understand my passion for it and I hope that you hear from my voice that these are not my words and my own understanding, but that they are given by the Holy Spirit. Please have a look at Triple Grace, it's a website, join it, be a member there. Listen to the videos, subscribe, like, click the bell icon, share the videos with your friends and family. Discuss about it, pray over it, ask the Holy Spirit what to do, and then come and walk with us together. We are here for you. We have an open heart for everybody. And even if you are full of sin, then come as you are. You will be cleaned on the way, as it is written in the book of Revelation. The people will be cleaned and have white clothes, because their clothes are made white through the blood of the Lamb. So we will be cleaned on our way. We do not have to be perfect to, to walk this path right now. I gather you from all nations, and I will gather you from any place that you are coming from. If you have problems, addiction, whatever, it really doesn't matter. The love of the Father is for all of you. So please join me. Join me and follow me on that path. Thank you that you're here with me. Thank you that you're listening to my words. Thank you that you will show forth the love of the Father into the nations for all to see. So that they have an example and that they can follow this example and can join you and that our harvest of the ages will be multiple, multiple, plentiful and so many people will come together and so many people will then stand at the base of Mount Zion. Please pray over it. Ask the Lord, ask the Holy Spirit and join me again for the next 
video in our great Exodus series. Please also watch all the other series and follow the daily prophetic word given by the Holy Spirit. Thank you that you are here with me. May God bless you and your family abundantly, and I will see you next time. This is Michael. Maranatha.